what I've got here is uh, a money box and it's a wooden money box and it's made from the original cenotaph because the cenotaph was originally built back in 1919 for the peace day celebrations and it was only going to be a temporary structure apparently Lloyd George uh, contacted Edward Lutyens and, and said he's only got uh, 14 days to, to build this thing so Edwin Lutyens came up with a design apparently in six hours and uh, showed these pictures to Lloyd George and it was approved and then he, he spent the rest of the fortnight getting the uh, materials together and having this thing erected so it was made out of wood and plaster and it was in, unveiled for the peace day celebrations on July the 19th 1919 well after the celebrations were over uh, the monument was due to be taken down and uh, it was taken down and the bits over to St Dunstan. Uh, St Dunstan's is the, the home for blinded soldiers. It was uh, founded in 1915 by Arthur Pearson. And uh, it's, it's a really nice story to think that the, the wood from the original cenotaph was used to make models of the cenotaph. And, and in fact this one that's here is, uh, is actually a money box. After the, the, the peace day celebrations were over and the, the monument was taken down, uh, there was such an amount of interest in it. Uh, generated by the public it was sort of the the national monument and they really wanted to, to see a permanent structure so again Lutyens came up with the the permanent structure and uh, that was unveiled in time for Remembrance Day 1920 to coincide with the burial of the the unknown warrior well at this time uh, lots of people were, were very interested in the cenotaph and, and all sorts of models were made uh, there were tin plate ones and china ones in fact the the crested china people had an absolute field day. Everybody made their own copy of the cenotaph, some slightly more naive than others, uh, and lots of them were produced with the London crest, but they, they ended up with all sorts of town crests, one from Droitwich to um, Fishguard and, and Festival of Britain symbols on it. Uh, lots and lots of different manu manufacturers got involved with it, and they even made plaques out of ivorex, you know, this sort of dummy ivory with uh, a relief picture of that and of course countless countless postcards so it became very very popular in fact I think one of my favorite pictures um, was a color supplement that was given out as part of the Sunday companion on November the 12th 1921 and it's a, it's a rather nice picture of the cenotaph and there's a little piece at the bottom that says in memory of and the person that received the supplement would put their own you know loved one's name in there the one that I've got, it merely says, all the boys. And I think that's an incredible thing. It's just somebody remembering everybody who died.